everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. My name is Stacy, and I am joined, as always, by the Minecraft versions of my real-life dogs, Paige and Molly, who are being very silly dogs right now for standing out in the rain. Guys, go inside! <sighs> I'm actually really sad that it's raining in Dogcraft again, because today I'm going to be working on the roof of our dog hotel so not the best place to work while it's raining but we're going to be adding a rooftop swimming pool so many of you suggested it I thought it was a fabulous idea and I've already started work on it Oop, that's a Dalmatian um, actually I don't even need to grab my carob chip cookies I still have some in my inventory let's go up to the actually I should put this uh, chest plate on kind of like a raincoat let's go up to the Dalmatian plantation and breed another Dalmatian uh, before we go out in the rain. Look at this, a hundred Dalmatians. Uh, do we have, no, we have 99 in here. No, wait a minute, 98, oh, I just burped. No, Pongo burped. Uh, okay, Perdita, there you go. Uh, you can have a cookie too. And uh, we are going to be, oh, hello, little puppy Jessica is who we are going to be adding to the Dalmatian plantation. Can I even see in here? We've got Jessica and then 99. We already have Pongo and Perdita. Jessica sent me a picture of a giant Pongo and Perdita statue. This is in Orlando, Florida at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. I actually went there in January and I shot a video. It will come out soon on my vlogging channel um i've had to wait to post it but jessica you beat me to it you even wore stripes which was awesome let's check out the artwork from the last week's episode which was episode 121 under the sea i put a giant anchor in uh the under the sea suite and that seemed to be the moment that a lot of you guys chose to draw it's always interesting to me to see which moments stand out the most this is when i told noah he wasn't hipster enough uh for <laughs> the hipster suite uh someone made a, a hotel brochure for dog uh the dog hotel which i thought was super cute i love this page on a bookcase and molly on her little diva bed with pongo and perdita slash missus watching bookcraft i like that uh, this is me with all the wolves, me with all the Dalmatians in the Dalmatian plantation, me with lots of different characters, uh, Nathan, Squashy, uh, Paige, Molly, Wink, Milk Toast. All right, I'm actually not even going to go downstairs and get a wolf in this episode. Surprise, surprise. I am going to bring two wolves that, you know, I don't see that often. I am going to be bringing Droplet and Splat for what we are doing today in dog ground. Hello, dog guard. How are you? You don't even have to take a bath. It's raining. Um, oh, oh, uh, droplet. Hi. And let's grab you splat. And let's check on Charlie. Charlie, how are you doing? Are you adjusting to life in the bark? My newest little dog, the Papillon. Are you okay, Charlie? I feel like I never come in here. Uh, I, I should make a point to come in here every episode of Dogcraft. Uh, wait, who? Susie? Susie the pig has moved into Strudel's pen uh, from there. That's rather peculiar. Maybe because I didn't feed her. Well, no, she's eating the pork again! <gasps> That's awful! Um, and then, wait, am I missing a German shepherd? No, Sophie is in Lulu's pen. Was Sophie out of food? That's really weird that they do that. Uh, okay, let's go. Actually, um, hold on. Do I have... I need to look. I'm doing some dyeing in this episode, and I need to see if I have any dyes that I need. I already, I think I have enough yellow. 17, that's plenty, actually. I'll take it anyway. Um, I don't have, I, oh, I had 17 yellow and 17 blue. Um, oh, look at that. Dog guards in the pool. Uh, okay, we are going to be heading into our sheep pen because I need a lot of wool. Actually, Damien, I need yellow wool and Damien has yellow wool. Hello, Damien. How are you? Uh, don't mind me actually just coming to get some supplies and it's, uh, it's yellow wool. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you have grass though, so you'll grow it back. So I don't feel too bad about that. Oh, Splat's waiting for me outside. All right, guys, let's come inside. Oh, look, there's a loose pig. Do you guys know what that means? Splat and Droplet get to kill it. That's the rule. If you're out of the pen, pigs, you die. 
<laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Well, look at how many sheep I have in my sheep pen. They're all going over to the cow pen. Okay, grab all the yellow. Uh, grab, I do need blue as well. Thank you, pillow. And let's make you, uh, we can make you, um, let's make you blue because we need more blue than we need yellow. Thank you very much. And then, uh, actually, you know what? Do I have wheat, don't I? Yeah, I have wheat. We should breed some of these sheep. Uh, let's breed, let's breed the blue one with the blue one, and then we can get a little blue baby sheep, so we can, <gasps> oh, look how cute you are, baby blue, oh, baby blue sheep, you are the cutest little, come here, fella, come here, oh, I never get over how cute the sheep are in this mod, oh, I want him to just stay a cute little sheepy lamb forever. Okay, let's go over to where all of our sheep actually are, <laughs> which is in our cow pen, oddly enough. Um, okay, let's dye some of these guys. Uh, dye a few of them blue, and then let's get some yellow ones too. Um, after I shear these guys, thank you, Oreo. I will return you to black shortly, uh, but I do need... A little bit of wool, not too much, and I already have some white one uh, wool. Wool. I, I should have checked my supply room to actually to see if I had any blue. I might have. Um, okay, there we go. And then let's breed you guys. Actually, oh, the cows are gonna go crazy. Uh, quickly, quickly, uh, breed you with Cookie, and then give uh, you two. Oh, you have wool still, or did you just grow it back that fast? Uh, come here. Oh, look at a little yellow baby, too. Hi, precious. And a little blue one. And uh, thank you, not pillow. Uh, I was going to say for your sacrifice, but actually you don't have to die to give me your wool. Uh, let's go ahead and come back in and shear this one. And then uh, there is a sheep out there. I knew it. And it's white, which we probably could use just a, like a little bit more white. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making beach umbrellas. Uh, or, well, like pool umbrellas. Uh, doing the agility course, I see. I need your wool. Thank you very much. Uh, now, we, while we're waiting, actually, Droplet and Splat, do you guys... You guys have done the agility course before, right? Do you want to give it another go just to, like, see your skills? Let's try it. All right, come on, guys. Let's see if you remember how to do this. Over the first jump, over the second jump with water. Are you guys going to fall in the water? Come on. Oh, yep, in the water. Up the stairs, though. Splats in the lead first. Come on down. Oh, good job, guys. Can you go through the tunnel? This is always the hard one. Sometimes they go on the sides. <laughs> yep, they went on the sides. Okay, it's very rare when a dog actually goes through the tunnel. I don't know. Uh, okay, bob and weave, guys. Go through the sticks. Go through a splat. No, no, not really. Uh, okay, uh, the hoop. The final hoop. Through the hoop, guys. Come on. Oh, they both went around it. Oh, no. Oh, uh, come on, guys. You can do this. You can do this. Through the hoop. <gasps> Are they both going to do it? Oh, Droplet did it. Oh, Splat hesitated. Oh, Splat did it too. And the chicken. The chicken did it too. Yay, guys. You went through the hoop. Uh, okay, that was fun, actually. That should have given the sheep enough time to regrow some of their... Oh, the school door is open. Let's go close that. We don't want anything getting inside let's grab these sheep's wool and then I, it should be getting dark soon so we would actually be able to sleep when we get over to the hotel can i breed you guys can I, okay you have love hearts i can't breed i can't breed you yet and i can't oh, i can't breed pillow yet that's a bummer okay let's go ahead and see yep these guys some of them regrew their their wool already uh i think 11 13 this might, I might have to come back one more trip and get a few more pieces of wool, but this is actually not bad uh, for what I need. Uh, okay, and then I saw that you regrew yours. There you go. Does that mean that I can breed you now? No, I still can't breed either of them. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's cool. Hasn't been long enough. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, let me, <laughs> I just want to make sure that I have enough... Uh, yellow because nine I don't think is enough but 12 I should have counted in my design but I think 12 should be enough uh, for now and you can't you can't shear baby sheep I'm pretty sure <laughs> okay 
let's go ahead and um, let's go out even though it's raining but we get to go through the splash pad this is why I brought droplet and where are droplet and splat are they even oh yeah here they are guys the splash pad if you didn't watch this episode of dogcraft uh, go back and watch it uh, when I made this splash pad is actually when I bred uh, droplet and splat accidentally or wait both of them I can't I can't even remember. They were both puppies, right? Huh. I don't even remember. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to bring them because it's almost kind of like they're graduating. Like the puppy, the splash pad is sort of like for puppies and now the swimming pool is like for adult dogs, which is kind of funny. Um, okay, let me go ahead and grab, I need to eat, get my, oh my milk toast. Over here guarding Tomcat Towers, huh? Uh, okay, so I've already started work on the uh, the roof of the pool, so I'll show you guys. However, uh, it is a little bit darker in here now because I've had to uh, get rid of some of the skylights. So I do need to light it up just in Oh, you guys are kind of dark in here too. Um, I need to light it up a bit more because there could be like things uh, that spawn. <gasps> Oh, the clay. That's gonna be, that's not gonna make enough clay. That I just lost clay. No, I don't want to get more clay. It only made five, but you know what? I'm counting my blessings because I could have easily, Droplet and Splat are regular Minecraft wolves. They are not uh, wolves like the rest of the wolf pack that have talents and skills. Um, if they were, they would have growled to warn me about the creepers. Just saying, guys. Uh, they could, they could have died. <laughs> they really could have died. I'm gonna make a few torches. This is not gonna be pretty. I need to, like, do glowstone, uh, probably soon to make it kind of fancy, uh, and, and also keep it safe from creepers. That was very, very close indeed. Uh, but for now, oh, they blew up the glass too. Uh, or the creeper did. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put torches everywhere that I think is kind of like a dark spot. He probably came in, uh, well, no, there's anywhere that he could have spawned that's dark. Uh, these are the stairs. It's not pretty, the stairs to the pool. I might need to work on it if we ever do like expansions uh, to the hotel, but let's just put a bunch of torches around. I'll throw one in uh, the book suite as well. Put one there, there. Um, yeah, we'll have to, we will have to work on this, uh, in another episode. Are you guys' tails high? Okay, yeah, you have love hearts. I'm not gonna give one to you, Splat, now, because I know what would happen. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys didn't get any, like, a little bit of damage. Okay, let me show you guys what I've done. Okay, so here it is. This is the rooftop pool. Such a perfect idea, uh, that you guys had thought of for what we should do with this space. So I've carved out, this is like the deep end of the pool, and then up here it goes to the shallow end of the pool. It's actually kind of a big swimming pool. Um, but the view up here, guys, this is amazing. I always thought I would put a swimming pool into Dogcraft, but I kind of thought it would be closer to the splash pad, but a rooftop pool just makes so much sense, and it's so fancy. Perfect for the dog hotel. Uh, I imagine it as almost like an exclusive club that the wolves and the dogs can come to. I'm just going to make a crafting table up here because I forgot to bring mine with me uh, there because I do need to make... Okay, for my beach umbrella recipe, I need to make some fences and then the wool. Those are the only two supplies that you need. And actually, I saw a tutorial on this uh, that was done on uh, iBallistic Squid's channel uh, a long, long time ago. And I modified it only slightly at the end. I only, I think I left a few blocks off at the end. Um, as you can see, there's, there's wood underneath there. I was not about to use clay everywhere. I do not have that much clay. Um, I'm gonna do blue, yellow, blue. And so then here's his recipe uh, that I think worked out pretty well. You just do, whoops, you do uh, fence posts going straight up. You do six of them uh, going straight up. Let me see if I can, okay, I got three. Uh, and now I'm gonna have to just, I'm gonna have to just pillar up. It's a pain, but 
uh, and then you do three more fence posts uh, going straight up in a vertical line and then oh, I've got a pillar up a little bit higher then you put one color of wool uh, down on top of it and I uh, he did white and so I'm gonna do white I think his were striped as well too yeah um, oh, zombie down there. Oh, droplet, please, please, droplet, get down off of that ledge. That is not, no, I don't know exactly how high it you have to be to actually, like, die. But, okay, let's, yeah, let's sit you down uh, and sit you down, too. I didn't realize if I'm going to be pillaring up that that could be kind of dangerous for you guys. Uh, okay, so now, now that that is there, you're going to take your other color and you're going to put it on the sides, um, all four sides, like so. There we go. And I'm doing blue and white stripe, just like my shirt that I always wear and that I'm wearing in Minecraft. Then you switch to your other color, and you're going to take, uh, you're going to put it down directly underneath the one that you just placed, and then out one. Oh, not there, not there. Ignore that one. And actually, you're going to also delete this one, too. So you're just kind of putting that one block underneath uh, just to build off of it uh, and put that block there. So you could delete these um, right after you place them. So one block and then another block and delete this one. And then on the last side, do the same exact thing. This looks a little crazy right now, but I promise it'll turn out okay. Uh, like that, and then delete. And then you're going to fill in the gaps in between them. You're going to alternate. So if it's white, then you're going to put a blue. And then you're going to put a white. And then you're going to put uh, a blue. So it's going to be like that. And you do it on all four sides. So let's do the other three. Blue, blue. And then you can just come in and put the white and then uh, blue there, and nope, there. Didn't mean to put that there. And then, wait a minute, is that? Yeah, that's right. I'm getting all, getting confused. Uh, blue and blue, and then put, um, wait a minute. No, Stacy, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're so silly. Um, why does this side look different than the other ones? What am I, am I crazy right now? I, I need to just put it right there, don't I? Um, you know what, we can actually go to the top of the umbrella, um, because you can kind of get like a different perspective when you go to the top, uh, and it makes it a little easier to do this last part. Um, so obviously, yeah, it just needs to be white right there, Stacey. Why weren't you thinking straight? Uh, okay, so now, uh, actually, maybe it would be better to be, you're going to put um, blue coming, yeah, let's jump back down. Uh, you're going to do the same thing off of the, the four sides again, where you're going to alternate the colors and delete the block that's placed underneath it. So like that, oop, that's a little glitch, uh, grab you, and then the last one on this side. I'm not going to build the other three on camera, I'll fast forward that, but uh, okay, so then now, let me just delete all these guys, uh, this is the final, this is the final part, you're going to take uh, the other color and you're going to put it on both sides of the ones that are sticking out. So like that, 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 and there. And then I believe uh, Squid's version, you filled in uh, three more blocks in each corner like we did the first time. But I actually think it looks better just to do one. Um, or maybe this is how he did it. I can't remember. I, I like to just do one in the middle. Um, it makes it a little less square-like and more, I think, like an umbrella. So I'm just placing the blocks there and then deleting the one that is not in the middle. Uh, there you go. Delete that one. And then I have one more to do. And then that's the umbrella uh, finished. Uh, there you go. And look at that. It really provides uh, some shade underneath, which is super cool. Look, what do you guys think? I think it looks... Um, yeah, I like the way it looks, and it, it gives a lot of little shade. Do I not have, oh, I don't have my, I thought I had more jungle wood, but I think I used, I used all my planks to make sticks. Um, okay, let's go ahead and just add, like I said, I'm going to fast forward this, but I can add like the three, oh, goodness, I am not, no, I'm not doing this well. 
there you go. Add three there, and then um, I'll add three on the other side, but then I will, I will do this. I will fast forward this so you don't have to watch. Oh, is the sun already setting? That's okay, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm I'm definitely out of wood. So, guys, I'm going to be right back. Uh, I also need to go get buckets of water, obviously. I'm going to make a... Um, what's the word? Endless? Is the word endless water source? Uh, so that I don't have to keep making treks up and down. Can you imagine if I was trying to fill that whole swimming pool by making treks up and down uh, every single time? Do I have jungle wood in here, though? Really? I have saplings. I can grow some. Um, oop. Molly's collar in the background. Uh, Alright, let's grow some jungle saplings then so that I can... Molly! What a diva. Ugh. She she literally just woke up from a nap to do that and then went back to sleep. She knows I'm recording. She does it on purpose. I know it. Uh, okay. Hi, Milk Toast. How have you been? Uh, I'm going to grab this jungle wood because I want to make lounge chairs. And I want to use jungle wood. Even though the umbrella fences are oak, I think it'll be okay to mix the two. Um, and I use jungle wood in some of the hotel lobbies. So I think I kind of want to like keep with it uh, and use jungle wood here as well. Let me grab the buckets of water really quick. Uh, grab that one. And now let me quickly sleep so no more creepers show up. I can't believe how close of a call that was. I would have never forgiven myself if I just said, Droplet and Splat, come here, I've got something to show you in the dog hotel. And then, boom, they died in a creeper explosion. That would have been horrible. Do I need anything else? I don't actually... Oh, I had another bucket of water. Uh, that's perfect. Three buckets will be good. Um... All right, I don't think that that's... I don't think I need anything else, actually. Just the wood and the water is all we need to complete uh, our rooftop pool. So, let's see here, guys. We're going to make some stairs, first of all, out of the jungle wood. Um, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to need six. Um, six, so I'll just make two. I'll make eight. Uh, nope, I made 12. Okay. I don't think I need 12. And then I need to make some slabs um, to, I think, actually, am I going to have them be one or two? Probably, I'm thinking two. Uh, and I don't know if you guys have seen this design for, for lounge chairs before. You probably have. Uh, but let's see. I want to put them underneath the umbrella, but a space. I, wanna, I think I want to put them on this block. Um on either side of each umbrella and then you take a slab and you put it down and it makes like a little pool lounger but what I was thinking is like that's kind of actually a little bit short I'm gonna add another one because these are dogs after all dogs need to be able to stretch out I like that I think that that looks very very luxurious after all this is a luxury hotel we're not trying to skimp out on the beach uh, oops, I put that one in the wrong place. Uh, we're not trying to skimp on the, the beach loungers. They need to be, uh, in fact, I could even do double wide, but I didn't really take that into consideration when I was uh, spacing my umbrellas. So I think, oh, now I kind of want to do double wide. Oh, wrong place. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll try that out later. Uh, okay, so we have those there. I like those. And then on this side, I thought, okay, so on that side, it's going to have shade from the umbrellas. But you know how some dogs like to lie in the sun, um, which if you're a human, you shouldn't do. You should always wear sunscreen and go under the umbrella. But this is going to be the side, and a lot of pools have this, where like there's a side that has umbrellas and then a side that doesn't for the people who like to be out in the sun. So I'm going to put a side here that, oh, no, 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 no. I do not like how that connects with the glass. Uh-uh. Is that bugging anyone else? I don't like that. Oh, but then I don't think there's enough room on this side that they would go straight into the pool, which would be kind of weird. You know what we could do? We could just do like a row of lounge chairs that are like this um, and then we could even make signs to put on either side of them to give that armrest kind of look and this could just be a row of of little armchairs for the dogs i think that'll look good so let's go ahead oh goodness how am i gonna fill this entire pool it is massive 
I did not really think of making a pool when I built the hotel. So I just built the hotel as big as I wanted it to be. Um, and I guess I could have made the pool smaller, but I think, you know, wouldn't it be fun later in the summer to have like all the dogs up and have a big pool party. We're going to have to do that later in the summer. Um, okay, how many signs do I need? Two. I didn't I didn't notice how many chairs I put down. So let me make just extra. So I'm sure to have enough. Uh, let's go ahead and put these on. And this is actually perfect because it blends the jungle and the oak. Uh, like on the other side with the oak uh, umbrella stands and the jungle loungers. Now we have jungle wood. Uh, chairs with oak wood. Whoopsies. <laughs> Let's get rid of that one. Uh, we have jungle wood stairs with oak wood armrests, uh, which I think, uh, I think the contrast looks nice. Okay, so I'm going to just finish placing all of these little signs and then we have to start filling the pool. I think it's going to actually look really cool that the windows are now sort of like little uh, glimpses into the doggy hotel from the bottom of the pool. So let's make an endless water source. I don't know, I think I've done this one other time. Is it just like too wide? You use two water buckets, right? So if I just put in a water bucket like that and then a water bucket uh, there. Let me just eat really quick. Um, if I put in a water bucket there, then is that an endless no. Oh, it's four. It's four. It's four. Um, so let me just grab them back. And then that's right. It's four big. You need like four blocks of the, the like in a hole. And then um, just the two buckets on either side, right? If I do it on. Oh, no. I think I was meant to do it diagonally. Oh, no. Is is. Okay, three worked. Okay, thank goodness I had that third. <laughs> so you're supposed to put them on opposite. What a fail. Typical Stacy. Uh, okay, but now, yay, I have an endless water source. So I can begin filling the pool. This, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to do a water bucket at every single block in order to get this much water. I'm really nervous about this because I know that water in Minecraft, Splat, you need to actually... Um, just scoot yourself up a little because I don't want to just drown you if you're sitting in the pool. Um... I know water in Minecraft can be super buggy sometimes, so I'm really kind of worried a little bit about how many buckets of water this is going to take uh, to completely fill up the pool. I'm going to just try to get a sense for it. If I can fill up three at a time, that's pretty good. And then I can just come like maybe every other block to start with. Um, I'll put one there. So then that made it kind of, that made it a little, nope, it's not still at all. This is going to take forever. This is just the shallow end. We already have, or we also have the entire deep end uh, that we're going to need to do. I it can't have any currents. I, although I was toying with the idea of a lazy river. I think that that would be so cool to do in Minecraft. Although I'm not exactly sure how you would make it so that the current was always that's going to be a challenge. Maybe later in the summer, I will attempt to make a lazy river in Minecraft. I know just the spot in the world of Dogcraft where I would do it. Ooh, okay. Uh, anyway, so I'm putting them in the deep end. That looks really, really silly. Uh, I think... Uh, I'm going to need to speed this up at some point. Look at this. I'm going up the way. I'm going backwards. This is not going to, this is going to take forever. I'm going up the wrong current. This is embarrassing. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and just keep plugging away at this. I think, I think I'm going to have to put a bucket of water at least every other block, if not every single block of the, oh, I shouldn't have jumped in. Now I'm going to get swept away again. Fight! Fight, Stacy! Swim! You're a good swimmer! Swim up! Swim up! Ugh, oh, okay. You can do this, Stacy. It, it could be worse, right? The pool could be deeper. Oh, look at the water flowing over the stairs right there. I hope that that smooths out. I, what if I can't get all the water to be still ever? I didn't even think of that. This is going to be a lot of water. <gasps> oh 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't think about this. I didn't know that the water would go through clay. <gasps> Look at all the water droplets. This is this is embarrassing. Oh my goodness. <gasps> What are we gonna do? And we can't even get all the water up. We just, is it in the diva suite? Oh, thank goodness, Molly would have killed me. It's not in the diva suite. It's just everywhere else in the main area of the dog hotel in the Motel 6. <gasps> water droplets, hundreds of water droplets. Oh no, what are we gonna do, guys? Maybe I'll just have to lower the ceiling by one block. Um, that's the only thing. I can't believe this. All the water droplets. We can't even get rid of the water. That would take, that would take hours because we'd have to get the water and put it into like a lake or something. Oh no. Okay. All right. I'm going to sleep really quick. And now, okay. I'm just, I wanted to go get some more wool for the umbrellas while I was doing the speed up. That's embarrassing. Um, I'm going to cut to when I have everything finished. All right, it's done. And I actually, honestly, I have a few more water buckets to add, but it it was easier than I thought, honestly. Uh, the water, it didn't, I, I mean, maybe like 15 or so more water buckets. It did not take that long at all. And I don't think I need this anymore. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that until I finished because what if, uh, I finished the umbrellas, by the way, but what if this doesn't work? Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't think one more bucket. Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't clear it. Oh, no, I only have uh, one bucket left or two buckets left. I think I only have two buckets left. Um, if I do this, will it? No, it won't fill back up, of course. All right, let me grab them and let me hope that two buckets is enough. Otherwise, I can... Um, I can I can go back down and get more water. So one needs to go over here. Um, oh, that made it still kind of there. And then one needs to come like right around here. <gasps> Look at how calm it is. We did it. We finished the swimming pool and the water is perfectly smooth and still and ready for our first swim in it. The bottom looks so cool with the windows. I just realized I'm swimming in my clothes. That rhymed. Anyway, this looks awesome. I really, really like this. Uh, yay, yay me, yay for making a swimming pool. The deep end, I, I can't breathe. <gasps> we need a lifeguard. I didn't even think about that. Maybe we should build like a little lifeguard uh, station so that we can have a lifeguard. <gasps> Droplet, you can be the lifeguard. <gasps> Droplet. Um, I have to do something about all the water droplets downstairs, actually, though. Uh, come to speak of it, droplet. Let's gather these up, and then uh, there's really nothing else to do. Sit you guys up, and you guys can go for a swim in the pool. Come on, guys. Come on. It's your favorite thing to do, swimming. Yay, look at them. Oh, they love it. I can tell. Oh, they're already going into the deep end. Droplet's a little hesitant to go into the deep end, though. Let's see them swimming. Oh, no, look. Droplet just dove right into the deep end. And Splat is coming up right behind her. Ah, uh, All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Dogcraft. Uh, the next episode is going to be a very special episode because we're finally going to reach 101. <gasps> Splat! Splat, no! Uh, Splat, come back here. Um, oh, okay. It's not that... It's not the ledge. Uh, all right, anyway, I will see you next time. But until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.